Then I have a question. Then how would y'all compare Toronto to U.S. cities? My favorite city ever. As far as what? Just overall. Uh, anybody else want to take it? I can go first. All right. Y'all know I love New York City, right? Mm-hmm. New York City is my favorite city, but actually Toronto is actually my favorite city. Because A, A, um, <coughs> Toronto is like New York. may not be as like densely populated, but it's cleaner than New York City. And then two, you get the same diversity. And then it's also, I think the I think Canadians are nicer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Canadians are nicer, man. They're just easier to talk to. And I think because I think people in like in like US are more like about like to themselves and more like on their like, I, I need to keep to myself and do my thing. Like they're like more go, go, go. I think like in Toronto, they just, they just see a little more friendlier. And the food scene is probably a push. The food scene is probably a push. So like I'm gonna say Canada, like I like Canada better. Cleaner, nicer people. Um, yeah. Cheaper. Cheaper, that's a big thing. That's like, a big <laughs> thing. I ain't paying five hundred dollars for one bottle. Yeah, but the thing is, let's see. Hmm. Look, why it's about the same. There's beautiful people everywhere. I would say like the clubbing uh, vibes is pretty similar to the clubs I've been in the U.S. Okay. Um, w- just the pricing. Pricing is definitely better. Okay, I will say. Th- I will say one thing is also if you talk about clubbing is I think Toronto is actually better than New York when it comes to clubbing. I do like it better, but I also have only been out to New York once. Yeah, because I think out. that if we're talking from like, since we're Asian, from Asian, everybody goes to Den Social. And I'm going to tell you right now, Den Social is some fucking trash. It's like old, OD tight. Like you're like, there's no room at all. And it's expensive as hell. Where like when we're at AMP, and there's so much more room to like actually move around. Or you go to Mission when the only play is EDM. Yeah. So it's different. So yeah. that's my, my preference. I, I feel you on that. But LA might be a little different though. Yeah, Mama Lion was tight. Mama Lion was tight. Mama Lion. Yeah, I like the music. Even in Mama LA. Lion? Uh, I think so. Uh, Mama, it's, it's, it's got more <laughs> spots. Like Toronto got so much more spots. And yeah. then like New York only got like two, three. Lock and Key, I like their music, but it's just their space is small. Our mm-hmm. Lock and Key is good on Thursday. Yeah, it's fun. It's good on Thursday. I need to go on a Thursday. <laughs> it's really fun. It's like throwbacks, hip hop. Reggaeton. Oh my yeah. god, I need to go back. Well, to we have day. one here. It's just nobody goes out like Zebby's Garden. Pr- Thursdays is hip hop and stuff. So Man. We don't go. go tonight. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, oh, Thursday weekend. You, got, who, you, you work tomorrow? No. Nope. Oh. I do not. <laughs> you got one. You got two hours to get ready. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Don't test us. What y'all? What, what y'all think? Me. I agree with y'all. Um, the only like thing that I would say is like a little different is like. I mean, obviously, we only went to like two places, um, but I feel like, like the the scene here, has better venues. Here, yeah, as far as like space and like, obviously like, aesthetics and things like that. I felt like the second bar was kind of like small. Mm-hmm. Like when we were talking about it, compared to like sound check. Yeah. But like visually, like aesthetic wise, like it, sound check looks better. Yeah. Obviously, because it's. I, I mean, I fuck with it. I'd go back. Yeah, maybe we checked out different bars because yeah. a friend recommended me. I think Big <laughs> Trouble three. or something. Big Trouble is just like a. It's, it's, it's okay. Big Trouble is, oh, is the same owner. Is that it's the same owner? She because I asked her for similar music, um, but older. She's like that's like more people <clears throat> probably like our age. Mm-hmm. But that's what she recommended. Oh. When we went to Big Trouble, it's it's kind of like Midnight Market, but you know the section that we were at. Imagine there's like more tables. To the side and the dance floor is bigger, but it's the same kind of feel. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the so same owner. Yes. Clubbing like AM PM. No, no, it's not. It's a bar. Yeah. Scratch that then. Big hey. trouble and um Midnight Market, and there's another place called Midnight Arcade. It's all the same owner. Oh. I believe. I believe. I'm no, it is. Sure it, it is. is. I'm pretty sure it that, is. That place, Midnight Market, Midnight Arcade, it's all like mm-hmm. the same owner or something. Yeah. Uh, and they they had good music. I really liked AM PM. And the other place we went to was Fifth Fifth Street. Social easy. or easy, either or. It, 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 that venue is tight. I will say that. It's huge. Humongous. I, I felt like the two that we went to were kind of like small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, if we were to go again, like go to a different spot, like I would definitely want to check out different spots. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, it could change my mind. Yeah. There's a funny thing I saw. Like, it was like, um, I was like, if you uh, say if, I'm, if I lived in Toronto, right? And then like I started talking to this girl. It's like you can find out how like how popular she is, or like how many like how like what her business is. Take her to like midnight more, or like take her to AMPM and see how many people she knows. 
<laughs> or like, or like take, t- take her to a Fifth Street social club and see how many people she knows. <laughs> the bouncer and, adopts her. Yeah, like, <laughs> the, like if, she, if she walks yeah. straight up to the, if she, she walks up first straight up. Basis. Yeah, if she walks straight up to the bouncer and like dap him up, knowing then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah she, she knows some people. <laughs>